Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. Firstly, we are going to start our week with your A3 assessment. You guys are going to be tested on chapter 10, which is urbanization. Then we're going to move to explore the concept of one space, urban parks and forests and greenways. Urban parks, forests and greenways collectively embody the concept of one space in the context of urban planning and environmental sustainability. These interconnected green areas serve as vital lungs for sprawling metropolises, offering refuge from concrete jungles and fostering a sense of communal well-being. Urban parks provide recreation and relaxation spaces for residents, acting as catalysts for physical and mental health. Forested areas within city limits contribute to biodiversity conservation, offering habitats for various flora and fauna. Greenways, whether as linear parks or interconnected trails, create sustainable transportation options and prompt eco-friendly community. The integration of these green spaces form a holistic urban ecosystem that addresses the challenges of pollution, climate change, and stress, fostering a harmonious coexistence between urban life and the natural world. Then, moving to identify the meaning of green building design. Green building design is about creating buildings in a way that's good for the environment. It focuses on using materials and technologies that don't harm the planet and making sure buildings are energy efficient. This means using things like solar panels, good insulation and recycled materials. The goal is to use less water, produce less waste and make buildings that are healthy and comfortable for people. Green building designs is like a smart and thoughtful way of making places for us to live and work, considering both people and the planet. Then we are going to move to identify renewable resource management. Renewable resource management is about making and taking care of things that we can use over and over again. It's like making sure we use things like sunlight, wind, or water in a way that won't run out. We want to be smart about how we use these resources, making sure they are always there for us and for future generations. This means finding ways to generate power without harming the environment and using resources wisely. It's like being good steward of the earth, making sure we don't use up everything and leave the planet in a good shape for the future. 